day 26, meal number two. Now, first meal, I had great plans. Showed you what I was gonna have. Uh, as it turned out, I had two pieces of broccoli, two cauliflower. I was running a little late. I had to get into an appointment with a client. So, um, the I'm gonna have now for meal number two, the rest of the um, broccoli and cauliflower and that's two eggs with a little bit of yolk, not much, a little bit of yolk left behind. And then that kale and vegetable mix that had a little bit of that um, balsamic vinaigrette in it. Now, I suppose I could take this and cut it in half, maybe move these to the side. I could take maybe about half and, and make two meals out of this. In fact, you know something? Just because it's partly what we're doing here, I'm gonna make two meals out of this in this way right here. Okay, some of these guys can stay over here. Okay, there we go. So here's, right here will be meal number two. This, in a couple of hours, will be meal number three. Okay, there you have it. Day 26, meal number two. And let's see how that pans out. Uh, I'll be back in a few hours here. We'll look at meal number three. One of the basis of our plan that I've talked with before, and I want to give you this encouragement right here again for the hundredth time, but for the first time. We can cut something in half and delay gratification just a little bit longer. Now, do you realize that there was a study done some time ago, and what they did was um, you set some kindergartners down in a circle, right? And you put um, a cookie, like right in front of each of them, and then you say, okay, kindergartners, we're going to leave the room. If you would like to eat your cookie, you can eat your cookie, right? But when we come back in a few minutes, if you have not eaten your cookie, we'll give you another cookie for two, okay? So uh, that's an interesting study uh, to see what happens. Number one, do the kindergartners eat the cookie? Or are they able to delay the gratification a little bit? Are they able to wait and then receive another cookie? Well, they track this over time, and one of the things that happens is the kids that were able to delay the gratification ended up doing better in school. No big surprise. All right, so for us, let's play this little game with ourselves. Can we delay it just a little bit? So let's just say that I'm super duper hungry, which I'm not right now, but I'm still going to cut my meal in half, and I'm going to slowly eat this half, and then I'm going to wait maybe even only a minute or two minutes wait and breathe a little bit, maybe move a little bit, and then eat the other half. This would be the equivalent of this one egg, like two pieces of broccoli, two pieces of cauliflower, and over here it looks like about, it's not quite two, it's about two tablespoons of vegetables that involve kale and zucchini, and over here is about the same portion. One egg, two cauliflowers, a little bit bigger than these, Okay, one piece of broccoli, but that's actually bigger than these two over here. So it's not like it's a whole lot of food in the whole scheme of the universe, but okay. I can eat the whole thing, no problem. If I play this little bit of game with myself to just delay, just slow it down a little bit. It's not going to kill me, right? But it would be sensible to give my body... Um, nutrients that it needs closer to when they need it so if I eat a little bit less but spread it out more during the day okay that is very likely going to help my balance of my body in all kinds of interesting ways certainly it gives my body some work to do this is all good glycemic index stuff and my body will work in turn that into sugar, take the protein and do what it needs to do. It'll take the vegetables and turn it into sugar and that's going to give energy over time. It's going to extract the nutrients and to use to help to build cells and create energy. Why not slow it down? 
Let my body work. Do a little bit of work. My body wants to work. Our bodies want to work. We're made to work, as we discussed before. Okay, here we go. See you in a few hours.